Hi everyone, welcome to the Navigant Credit Union Broadcast Center. I'm Go Local News Editor Kate Nagel. Thanks for tuning in this Friday afternoon as we head into the weekend. And as we usually do, most Fridays kick off the show with former state representative, former Deputy Secretary of State, now heads up Stages of Freedom, Ray Rickman to give his big view. I think the world is edgy. I think the state's edgy. I think the city of Providence is edgy. I'm going to give you four quick stories. This morning I was trying to go into Starbucks and, uh, I'm sorry, the opposite. I was trying to leave Starbucks and two young men in their 20s wanted to come in and they both yelled at me, excuse me, meaning they had a right to come in first. I found it quite strange, the yelling at me, to basically get out of their way and let them into Starbucks so that they could stand in the line with eight people. And they couldn't really get in anyway because the eight people stretched all the way to the door. And I thought back that when people with gray hair always got to go first. I thought back to learning as a child, my mother said, those coming out get to go first. Now that's still true on the bus and on the airplane. And sometimes on the train, but even on the train, I went to Boston the other day and I had trouble uh, getting off the train. The people who wanted to get on wouldn't, got in my way. Edgy, edgy society in which the rules are collapsing and often gray hair gets you nothing. Always when I was younger, the woman got to go first when you got to a door. The man let the woman go first. Now, I don't know about absolute traditional rules, but I do know we need some, and I know we need not to be yelling at people because we want to go in the door. A few minutes ago at Stages of Freedom, a gentleman came in. We're having this big 50% off sale this weekend, and a man came in, and he had five books off the table, and they were all a dollar a piece, $10 books probably. And he's all excited about it, and he put them on the counter, and he started looking around, and then he said, can I use your bathroom? And the young man who works with me um, says, uh, we're having water pressure problems, meaning, no, you can't use our bathroom. And then quickly said, you can go across the street to Starbucks. I said, to, I tell him that this morning. Add that in real quick. And he did. And the man said, you're a liar. Your bathroom's working. Pick the books up and slam them down on the counter and left. This is a man getting bargains, and he wanted to get angry with us. It's a society on edge. Finally, we have a president of the United States who's closed down eight departments of government, a fifth of government, because he wants a wall, probably a $70 billion wall. He wants a $5 billion installment. Now, this is a very interesting problem that you would figure out how to get if Lyndon Johnson were uh, President of the United States, he'd trade something for it. Something worth 20 billion, something that would save a million people's young lives, dreamers, you hear me? Uh, this man in the White House wants his five billion so that he can violate his campaign promise. It was two part. I will build a wall. He said it a hundred times, he screamed it and his audiences of thousands railed, build the wall. Then he said, I will make Mexico pay for it. Mexico isn't going to pay for the wall. He wants us to pay for his $70 billion semi-useless wall. Nancy Pelosi, Speaker of the House. I just love that coming off my tongue. Speaker of the House says, absolutely not. Today she jokes she'd give him a dollar it's an edgy society. He needs to separate his wall from the 800,000 people's lives he's messing with and their families and all the contractors, federal contractors, and we as the American people who are having trouble calling the IRS this morning. Let's have a less edgy world. The two 20-year-olds uh, who yelled at me this morning at Starbucks, stop it. Stop it. 